Princess Principle Episode 3 is here, and with it, it will determine if A, you're going to continue watching, or B, if you're going to drop the said series. Now, as I said, before I even started this series and was going to give a first impressions, I was on the fence and I probably wasn't going to watch this series, and to my surprise, I made it to Episode 3. Here I am, watching Princess Principle, and... It has definitely met all my expectations and has surpassed my expectations and so far it continues to be very entertaining every single episode and, and episode 3 carries over all the enjoyment I've been having from the previous two episodes. So with that being said, what was episode 3 about? Well, number one, this episode tries to give some characterization to Angie's relationship with the princess, but also the princess's maid or servant that's been with her for a while now. We get a little bit of details that this girl, she doesn't have, you know, an actual regular throat anymore. Her throat was modified, her father messed with her and tinkered with her when she was very young, manipulated her vocal cords to where now it's more robotic, and so now she can have her voice go completely out of sync to where it just doesn't sound right at all. Sounds very robotic, and so this opens up the possibilities for this character to be very vital in the future, especially if there's a situation where someone needs to play the part of someone else on the phone or something, this character can disguise themselves with any voice. And that is what we see displayed in this episode. We get to see how important this girl is amongst our cast of spies and also the princess, because from what we've seen from the princess, she is someone that has a hidden side to her. Obviously, she's not just a pretty princess and very naive or kind. Clearly not, because it seems like she does have a darker, crueler side to her her because she wants to become the ruler, the actual queen of the country. So with her wanting to obtain this goal, obviously there's other things about her that honestly are unexpected, darker sides to her. And so with that character and then the spies, it makes it for a very interesting cast. But with the maid servant girl, you don't really know like what role she was supposed to play until finally in this episode, the details were revealed. So with the character overall, in terms of personality, a very stereotypical character in terms of just wanting to watch over someone of like higher authority or someone that saved them because normally in these type of series you have like a maid girl or someone that's been with the main female character or something for a while and then they're like you know I, I love this person I want to protect them they helped me out when I was younger and so now holy shit that thunder just scared the fuck out of me okay I'm sorry if you heard that but anyways I lost my train of thought holy fuck okay anyways the, the girl though the stereotypical you know character where, you know, she's always, you know, wanting to protect the princess because the princess or whoever did something good for them, basically, you have it to where that is what her character is. She is someone that is just the standard, standard girl that wants to protect the princess, and so I was hoping that, you know, there'd be a little bit more to her, and we do kind of get that, because she isn't just going to be that, she will be a part of the missions and stuff, clearly because of her voice changer. But anyways, let's talk about Angie for a second. Angie is a character that is shrouded in mystery. Many can speculate, especially since the last episode, that Angie and Charlotte, the princess and all that, they they are actually related. They are sisters, but they were exchanged and split away from each other from a very young age, and so since they've been so distant, they finally met up, and then we have what's going on in this episode. I'm under the impression that and the only truthful thing we'll probably get out of Angie's character is probably her love for the princess or her sister. Because in that scene in this episode, to when the, you know, everything's going to hell, fire in the room, there's no more, you know, backpack or a parachute they could jump out and all that. She's like, here, take this and all that. There's just no way, you know, leave me. If you're still here and you're caught, automatically it makes it to where people think something's going on with the princess. The princess is trying to start some shady shit. So I need you to get out of here. If I am here and I die, people will just think I'm a regular spy. So because of that, you see something different from Angie's character. You don't really know if she was trying to manipulate the girl in some way to make her do something that, you know she didn't normally want to do, or if she actually truly meant those words, because that's left up in the air. We don't really know, because from what we know from Angie's character, she's always lying, and she always can manipulate people. We have seen this already in the first two episodes. We don't know in that scene if she was manipulating her to change her voice, or if she was truly meaning those words. Maybe both. Maybe she did mean those words, but at the same time, though, she manipulated her to where she could also be saved. Who knows? Regardless, though, in terms of the episode's progression, 
it seems like this series is going to be like a stereotypical like episodic series slowly progressing the plot but one by one slowly throughout the episodes like slowly building up the bigger picture for the end game of this series so most likely it's going to turn into some kind of episodic series trying to keep the princess out of trouble trying to keep doing the mission to make sure certain things are captured or knowledge is obtained and then you know they're going to continue through the episodes I, that seems what the series is going to be kind of about so yeah overall when it comes to princess principal episode 3 it was very enjoyable and I'm glad I am still watching it I'm glad it's a good series it has definitely surpassed my expectations and I want to see more so let me know your thoughts in the comments below I love you all so much please be safe chibi out